Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episode 10 of Cobra Kai, so finishing up part two. What have you thought of part two so far? Definitely like the last two episodes a little better than six and seven. Right. But I'm really enjoying it. We're focusing on pretty much just the competition. Yeah. At this point and a lot of tumultuous relationships Nice word, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um, a lot of uh, resolutions, a lot of peace and healing, a lot of badass fighting because everyone is in a better headspace. So yeah, I mean, we're coming in hot into the end of this uh, Sakai Taikai, and I think uh, Iron Dragon mm -hmm. is gonna be obviously the only big foe left now that Cobra Kai is out of the competition, even though Kreese is still in the building with a knife, just mumbling to himself that it's not over and he's gonna stab someone. And Silver's back, so we'll see That's, how this plays out. Yeah, Silver's most likely the person getting stabbed. But uh, yeah, uh, great so far. Excited to see how they wrap up part 10, part two with episode 10. Do we know when part three is? I believe it will be not, won't be until 2025. Okay. We'll have a little Well, time. it's almost 2025. Yeah. Okay, cool. Looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episode. <laughs> oh. oh no, I thought this was Miyagi. No, it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, because there's no eagle over the tree. To see young Miyagi? Just a dream. Just talk to me. There's so much you never told me. I just need to understand why. That was always your problem, Daniel. So eager to understand, but not willing to accept. Yeah! Oof. Wake up, Daniel. Oh. Miyagi never tell you everything, Danya-san, because you're never strong enough to accept truth. Oh, I didn't like that. What a dream. This is the traditional seal. Sadly, the rare death did occur in that era. There are people died in fights sometimes back then. But right now, miyagi in the finals and Cobra Kai's out. It doesn't get much better than that, except winning the whole thing. Should get back to the kids. Yeah, Daniel's not moving past that easy. No. I must break you. The night that you flew home, I ended up running into him on the beach. He knows I have a boyfriend. I guess he's just not taking it super well. <laughs> I get it. Clearly he doesn't. <laughs> Still staring straight at you. I owe you an apology. I should have never let Kwong get into my head. I never should have let myself believe in any of it. Does any of it include me? Not your team. I mean, you're eliminated, dude. What happened in Betsy yesterday? will never happen again. It's a good thing I don't have to find out. Lucky me. Good job, Robbie. Yeah, I mean, Robbie already won. Like, nothing left to prove. Xiongxin does not deserve to be in next round. That is my spot. I guess you shouldn't have let him kick your ass. <laughs> you cost me my spot. And what would you have done with it? Zara would destroy you and celebrate with your boyfriend. Uh-oh. Lobby fight. We are already returning to my grandfather in disgrace. You're in Chongjin Chariot. Pretty sweet knowing that Cobra Kai's not a threat anymore. Great. <laughs> What's Cobra Kai gonna do? Because I feel like somehow they're gonna get back into this tournament. You look a little tense, John. Why couldn't you let sleeping dogs lie? You know, now that I'm thinking about it, Silver already tried to get Kenny to join his... Yeah. So there's gonna be some loophole he's gonna get. He's gonna get a couple of these guys. True. Like Tori and whatever the fuck that guy's name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand. I don't think he'll ever get Tori. Will ever stand in our way. But the other guy maybe. Yeah, yeah. And if they if they discover the loophole, then maybe Miyagi Do will use that loophole to get Tori. Make sure they blast it out to the world. Then Tori would fight that uh, the girl who slept with Robbie. Yeah, Zara. I I'm I'm putting it together. I think 
Too bad we can't humiliate Cobra Kai. They already did that to themselves. <laughs> convene immediately in the main lobby, including those who have been eliminated. Priest just wants to stab. The Sekai Taikai has a long and honorable tradition. I'm saddened to announce that one of the dojos here has tarnished that tradition by cheating. Dublin. Sensei Ivanov. The Russians? Four of your students have tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. Ooh, it's kind of fitting. You are hereby eliminated. What the hell are you talking about, bro? Consider yourself fortunate that your dojo wasn't banned forever. Continue this behavior, and that could be arranged easily. Okay, so my theory immediately destroyed. So I'm guessing Cobra Kai comes back in. Cobra right? Kai's back. They fill in that spot. Ura Tigra will be the dojo with the next highest point total. Cobra Kai. <laughs> Damn, I liked my idea better. <laughs> I did. First semi-final will be Maria versus Sarah Malik. Tori Nichols against Samantha LaRusso. All right, Sam. Diego Aguilar versus Sanjay Zoom. Axel Kovacevic against Robbie Keane. Ooh. You got this. I don't know. I feel like Miguel's gonna have to take that one. What's the plan? Knock Kreese's head off his neck for starters. Training? For oh, yeah. final fights? Oh yeah, we'll run through the usual stuff. And senseis need time to discuss. Meet me at gym. Huh? Johnny can't drop Kreese and Daniel can't drop Miyagi. Sam and Robbie face strong opponents. They need guidance. Need senseis. They need their fathers. I will warm them up. While well, you think of one last lesson, but think quickly, or I will pull hits from asses for you. <laughs> Thank God Chosen's not drinking. Right? I'm glad he's back. You want to doubt everything Miyagi taught you? Go nuts. Don't tell me you're actually thinking of backing out at the finish line. Miyagi do was never about tournaments. Should have known as soon as the shit hit the fan, you'd pussy out. There's the asshole, I know. Priest never fails to bring him out, does he? To guys like you and him, everyone's a pussy. No, not everyone. Just you. Biggest pussy I ever met. <laughs> Called you a pussy a thousand times, you don't do shit. Yeah, well, you've caught me. Beach fight. Hey, hey! What the hell are you two doing? Ah, oh, dang it. Did you want them to fight? Yeah, I thought it would, like, get some shit out. <laughs> now it is time to let it all out. Ooh, oh. Tori. You taught us some things that your senseis taught you, but you guys added something new on top of it. And Mr. Miyagi, I mean. Did he take every single one of those kids from the valley when Cobra Kai came back? Did he crank kicks over out of the valley for good? Okay. <laughs> what do you say we hit the gym, get Sam and Robbie ready to win this thing? I got a better idea. What? Oh, tourist trip? <laughs> They're gonna be fucking exhausted for the fight tomorrow. <laughs> One point for a hit, 10 for a knockdown. And should anyone score a knockout, that's worth 20. 20 points for a knockout. It's still anyone's tournament to win. Ooh, that's a big lead. Best of luck to you all, and may the best. You gotta knock out someone from <laughs> Iron Dragon. Yeah. Fight! That was fast. Oh, is that a knockout? The winner by knockout, along with the first spot in our boys' final, Kwon Jae Sung. Uh -oh. Yeah, right? Next up, Maria. Yeah, they just leapfrog to second. Winner, Zara Malik moves on to the girls' final with a 11 0. Give him everything you got, and then you give him more. Robbie doesn't have like anything super like motivating him in this fight. Like against Quan. Yeah, okay. yeah. But Axel has like his own demons, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. To deal with, so. He's. <laughs> I know, that's the thing. He's like two feet taller. Can't 
can't even get close. Robbie's gonna get tired. Jeez. Defense, Robbie. Just stay alive, Robbie. You going to keep defending? Or are you going to fight? Oh, what? Bitch, I'll try it again. Everybody off the mat now. Oh, that. I did not see that knockout coming. What the fuck are we? It's just a big brawl all of a sudden? No. Crease, start stabbing. Pathetic. You think you belong in the finals? Dublin. Everyone has so much anger. This is so chaotic. <laughs> everyone just fighting everyone. My hero. <laughs> oh, I was like, where the fuck am I? If I told you we should have snuck onto that plane with someone's luggage. Totally. I mean, we got mad brawl experience. It's true. You guys are always in brawls. Let's go. Why is he even humoring him? I don't know. He's only like a quarter of your age. You again? Stab. Someone get his knife? Yeah, I was like, does he still have it? <laughs> Roy right out, bitch. Oh. Might actually get a good workout. Work this out, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, Johnny. <laughs> Didn't even get to finish his line. How's everybody not just like exhausted yet? I, I'm exhausted. This is going on so long. <laughs> the ho random hawks. Good job. Oh yeah, that's right. That's like a uh, Spanish hawk. <laughs> I already fucked up my relationship. I don't know how I never predict that there's going to be a massive brawl when there's <laughs> right? always a massive brawl. Always catches me off guard. Oh, someone did take it. Oh, it just fell. Oh. It looked like that guy took it. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to finish this with my bare hands. Let's go. Nice, Robbie. You really choose her over me? Duh. <laughs> oh. I don't like that he has a rope. Jeez, this man is 95 years old. Oof. Oh, oh shit. Uh -oh. No, why is the knife here? Is he going after Robbie? Damn, Johnny just damn shame came to this. You saved Johnny's on his way here, right? You should have stayed in yours. Oof. Oh, not against that. No. Oh. Did he fall on it? Damn, everyone stopped real quick. Quan? Oh, he fell on it. All right, this is not good. Cut the feed. Cut the feed! Should have cut a long time ago. Damn, that's the end. All right, that was episode 10 of Cobra Kai. What'd you think? That was insane. I feel like there's definitely been moments in this show that just feel so dark considering that this is like 
based on a children's movie. Yeah, it's hard because I, at some points I do feel like, oh, this is just like a kid show. And then there's other times where it's like, it's pretty dark and mm -hmm. some of the topics are pretty serious. And I mean, even like what, it's season one that Miguel falls and like damn near dies, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, sometimes it surprises me how rough it can be. I think more so you would expect this out of like Crease and Silver and that like dynamic going on. And then obviously with Johnny and Daniel, like the adults in this situation, that things are a lot more serious. It's like feels more like life ruining versus these kids that are still in high school and it's like relationship issues and stuff like that and exactly yeah so it's a mix between everything but that and i mean just the end of that episode right i mean the thing is like now these kids are damn near adults themselves mm -hmm. so like the issues are becoming a lot more serious but this is a matter that's like i don't think cobra kai's ever gone to this extreme like someone literally dying yeah uh, I, I can't think of a, of a situation as serious as what just happened no i don't think so yeah and i mean it it came down to you have this brawl this all-out brawl because of the cheating team right who like starts this entire thing this entire like the whole tournament is being televised so there's that aspect of it and everyone watching from home but then you have a crazy like crease who's gonna bring a knife to this type of fight and he sharpened it like he was prepared to use this thing on silver yeah i'm gonna say for him to be so careless with it that he just like stuck it in a freaking tie on karate belt right like it's not it's not on you unless it's in your hand in that situation. No, I mean, bringing a knife to uh, a brawl of a bunch of teenagers. Anyways, and just, yeah. And just dropping it essentially in the middle. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the blame goes on Crease, but I mean, I, I never would have guessed Kwan picking it up. And if anything, when he was charging at Axel and Daniel was trying to get there too, I had a feeling that maybe Daniel was going to get like stabbed, mm. like take the blow. He would live. I think that's where my mind was going, was that Daniel was going to go in there and accidentally or purposely take it. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, that shock of Quan literally falling. And then that's a situation too, where it's like Axel is uh, defending himself. I mean, yeah. And Axel didn't know that there was a knife no, in that situation. But I'm wondering how related could that possibly be to Miyagi's story? Yeah, that was the first thing that I thought of after the death. I will say, so you thought that Daniel was gonna take it. I thought that Quan was gonna kill, kill Axel. Because at first I thought he was gonna go for Robbie. Yeah. Um, but then he was in that fight with Axel. So we kind of see Axel's story and it's kind of sad. Seems so, like a good dude. Yeah, so I definitely thought that Quan was gonna go too far and he was gonna kill Axel. I was not anticipating him falling on his own knife, or I guess, Reese's knife. Yeah. Obviously, Daniel's trying to make his way over there. You can't shout. You can't do anything in that situation. It's pure chaos. Yeah. But I was not anticipating that at all. No. And I just have a feeling. Like, I mean, obviously, this is like, like I said, the worst thing that's happened in Cobra Kai, someone dying mm -hmm. like this. But the, the way that it was framed with like Axel defending himself, like he didn't strike Quan in that moment. He blocked Quan's kick mm -hmm. and then Quan fell on his own knife. Even Daniels brought it up like, oh, I can't teach these kids like to defend themselves or defense all the time and stuff like that. Like, I feel like it's going to connect a lot more where maybe Daniel will have to like mentally help Axel because Axel might have a lot of guilt of like, I was just trying to defend myself, but now this person's dead. So I don't know. I think there's going to be a bigger connection there to tie in with Axel and Daniel and Miyagi, just with the whole death in the ring and defense aspect of that situation. Yeah, and I think it's gonna be important that Daniel was a witness to this and could see that Quan is the one that pulled the knife. Right. And it's very likely that Axel didn't see that that's what he had in his hand anyways. I mean, he had it, he had it pointed kinda up. down. Yeah, I don't think Axel knew he had a knife. Yeah. That was bad. And it's so funny though that I can never expect i always get taken aback by these giant brawls as well and you have to know it's gonna happen every time and it would completely make sense for the end of this 
tournament to end that way, considering I think it would be so far-fetched for Miyagi-Do to have won this. Yeah. Um, they were so far behind. Just the fact that Cobra Kai even got to go back into the tournament was like this... Crazy. Yeah, like it was like, whoa, like how did this even happen? So I don't think that there was any way that they could realistically have Miyagi-Do win, potentially Cobra Kai, since they were... Closer. Closer. Or no, I guess since they got eliminated, where were their points at? I don't know. No, they kept their points. They, they were, they they were, were in, in second, Cobra right? Cobra Kai was okay, in second yeah. after uh, after their fights. Okay. So I don't think they could have made it like this pretty little, like, put a bow on it. Uh, Miyagi-Do takes it all and they all, like, ride into the sunset. Yeah. Um. So very interesting how this played out. And I guess we maybe should have seen, like, the foreshadowing coming with Miyagi. Yeah, with Miyagi and with the death in the tournament, mm -hmm. the clues are definitely there, the foreshadowing. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, every time there's a brawl, it's always crazy. It's always so well done. But also this one made a lot of sense, too, just because all of these kids were having so many problems with everyone else. And all of the senseis were beefing as well. And, like, we've been in this tournament for, like, days and like just fighting and fighting and fighting and finally it boiled over into this massive brawl but i never would have guessed that it was going to end in a death even though the clues were there and i don't know where this goes like we have five episodes left i thought this episode was going to be the conclusion to this tournament and mm -hmm. that there would be a winner whoever it may be sure who cares and then the rest of the episode would kind of be like the aftermath and the cleanup of that but this is not over still. Like, there's no winner still. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a winner. Right. So is there just nothing and everyone just goes home? I mean, I don't think everyone's just going to go home. I think they're going to be stuck in Barcelona for a little bit. I mean, there's a literal death while all these people are fighting. It was televised. There's no just like, oh, because he died. Like, oh, no, we're done. <laughs> everyone go home. It's just like, I guess my point is that that is such a messy ending i know that you're gonna need like multiple episodes just to clean up the aftermath for how devastating this episode was but we only have five episodes left to wrap up everything i know i don't know how they're gonna do it because i am on the same page as you that i definitely thought this like the whole tournament was gonna be these five episodes and then we were gonna move on to a, like to concluding a, the cobra kai story right but I feel like this just kicked everything up all over again. Yeah. So. Like Silver is still there. Crease is still there. I mean, what's even going on with them? They were like up in the back. Uh, everyone came to oh, the Oh, did mat. they come up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because they all heard the scream. Right. So everyone stopped fighting and came up. But I mean, like, yeah, Silver still needs to be taken care of. His new goon, the Bangkok fighter guy. Like he's still very much there with beef with Daniel and Johnny. I mean, even though there were so many badass fights in the brawl, there was still no like crazy resolutions like Zara and Tori. Like they never really yeah. fully finished that fight. I mean, Robbie chose Tori. Yeah, but there were so. still like fight, like Axel still probably wants to destroy Miguel. <laughs> like the rage that Axel had when he saw Sam take a kick. Yeah. <laughs> He just, like, must kill. In love with Sam. In love with Sam so much. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's still so much beef with all of these, like, new characters and with the kids. I'm going to say kids, even though they're all, like, 20 or 25 years old at this point. But there's still so much beef left mm -hmm. that wasn't squashed that I thought would potentially be squashed with the conclusion of the tournament. Yeah. But now there's no conclusion of the tournament. At least, not yet. Yeah, and I'm just curious, like, how is... Crease gonna get in trouble for bringing this knife around? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's just so much. Maybe they can pin it on silver. I, yeah, I don't know. There's so much. Like, there's so, like, if this was the end of a season and, like, there was another season after this, yeah. I'd be like, okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I can see that. But no, we have five episodes left to just finish up everything. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, but you just left off with some massive moment. I know. We have to wait three months now for the last five episodes, which I'm like, I don't think we had to wait that long for the f between the first and second season. 
Or is the second part? I don't remember when part one was. When did it come like out? August? I don't know my months. So well, that is three months. August, August September, to November. Uh, August, September, October, November. Yeah. And then Another December, three months. January, February. So okay. it's evenly spaced. It felt very quick between the first two. So maybe it'll feel quick again. I'm sure. By the time we get done with Thanksgiving and Christmas, it'll damn near be Cobra Kai time. And I guess that gives us some time to uh, also watch the uh, Jackie Chan Cobra Kai. Karate Kid? Yes. <laughs> I say Cobra Kai for everything. <laughs> Jackie Chan Karate Kid. I don't know how they're going to do this. No, a uh, crazy episode, did not see any of it coming. Again, great action sequences, the fight choreography, the teamwork and everything. Nothing crazy. I mean, someone died, so crazy, but like <laughs> nothing crazy in terms of our characters having like a setback. Like again, like Daniel and Johnny were on the beach there and it's like, are we not gonna, like we were just on the same page for like one episode. Are I we... loved Miguel coming in and like, and being a fathering father, yeah, and fathering both of them like you fucking idiots. So overall, no major setback for any of our characters. Yeah. In terms of their personal relationships, uh, there's just a dead guy. So we got to figure that situation out. And, and he I, was a villain. He was a villain, but also he wasn't like a crazy villain. Like what? What did he truly do that was bad? Other than some mind games. It's not like he did hook up with Tori. Well, I mean, even that wouldn't death. Right. He doesn't he didn't he didn't do anything where I was like, oh, my God, crazy villain. I mean, he was he just was going to stab Axel. That is true. <laughs> he was trying to commit murder. <laughs> but so far, we hadn't seen that. I still feel like, yeah, sure. He was your villain, but he was your villain because he was just on the other side. Well, no, I mean, he was a pretty shitty person when we were introduced to him. He was a bad boy. Okay. <laughs> I, I still have the feeling like, oh, damn, that was a kid who just died. Uh, yeah. No, that's, that's I what feel, I'm getting. Yeah, at. no, I feel I feel the same way. But he wasn't innocent in this and he was trying to kill someone. He was trying to kill someone else. Yeah. But now he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> so there's your lesson. Yikes. Yikes. That's going to be it. Just a crazy aftermath for the situation. I really enjoyed it. Uh, this this <laughs> I, really <laughs> I really enjoyed the dead kids. Um, oh. But no, it was it was a great episode yeah. and it was totally shocking to me, which I always enjoy being caught off guard, even though it somehow is very, very like formulaic, if that's the correct term. Yeah, that's like, oh, big brawl. Perfect. Cobra Kai still wasn't expecting it, but it was great. I think it's going to make the last five episodes a hell of a lot more interesting than maybe just some like happy stories of everyone like going to college and mm -hmm. there's still a lot of shit to work through in these five yeah. episodes. Yeah. So I agree. it makes me look forward to it a lot more, if anything. Yeah. No, I'm excited. That was probably the longest brawl we've seen. I don't know. On this show. It's hard. Potentially. They're, the brawls are always 10 out of 10. And yeah. Yeah, there's been one at the, there's been two at the school, I think. And there was one at Cobra Kai Dojo. There was one at like Silver's house and like, there, honestly, I think there's a brawl every single season. Oh, for sure. A hundred percent. But this was crazy. The ending was crazy. I don't know where they're going to go from here. Are we going to have a little mini time jump? Like what's going to oh, happen? A time jump would help a lot, but I don't know. I don't know either. So see you in three months. <laughs> So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that you've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.